Today is a great day for a miracle. Thank you for taking a walk with us into this world of miracles. In these meditations, we explore a series of spectacular incidents that took place during the life and times of Jesus Christ called miracles. I'm Reverend Ronald Nathan and I'm the minister of the Hogard Amy Zion Church in Jackson in the parish of St. Michael in the Republic of Barbados. A miracle is an extraordinary and astonishing happening that is due to the presence and actions of God. The miracles of Jesus Christ gives us a glimpse into his compassion, his identity and his future plans. These culminate in our exclamation, Oh my God! In these OMG moments, we further examine the miracles of Jesus. Today, we look again at Jesus restoring the ear of the high priest servant, found in Luke 22, verse 50 to 51. And one of them struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his right ear. But Jesus answered, No more of this. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. In the Garden of Gethsemane, at the base of the Mount of Olives, Jesus the Christ found a place of refuge in this the final week of his life. It was in these mountains that he had prayed, he taught, and also wept over Jerusalem. The Mount of Olives, or the Mount Olivet, as it's called by others, was a holy site for the Jews. In the Garden of Gethsemane, a place where he could brief his disciples on the future, where he was able to meditate and where he was able to pray. In this heavily covered era of some 12,000 square feet, with its groves of olive trees, streams, and even ritual cleansing places, Jesus was struck down by the high priest Joseph Caiaphas and his temple guard. Betrayed by Jesus who escorted them to where he was, the guards surrounded Jesus. We are told that one of his number took out a sword and struck the temple guard and chopped off his ear. Jesus, we are told, then took up the ear and replaced it on the side of the man's head and healed him. On the verge of his own death, Jesus is healing his enemies and speaking peace amongst a violent trampling of his own rights. In life, as in death, Jesus was performing extraordinary acts. These acts we call miracles. The chopping off of the ear of the soldier through an act of self-defiance could become a distraction from the main event of the time, the death of Jesus Christ. This was not the time for that. The chopping off of the ear of the temple guard could provoke an outright skirmish, even leading to a revolt. This was not the time for that. This was a time for the cup of suffering to be poured out, so that the communion cup of the early church would gain meaning. So there you have it. God the Father working the extraordinary through his Son for his praise, glory, and honor.
today. God wants to be praised, glorified, and honored in our ordinary circumstances, our ordinary situations. For that is where miracles begin. When we believe him to show up, show forth, and show off. God bless you and have a great day.